Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Rambo Boys podcast. And today we are talking about the Twilight movies. So how are we all doing, boys? Fuck you, you Fuck fucking you. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking come and ask, like, how you do. You know what the fuck you <laughs> mean. Like, what, what the fuck? I, I fucking... I got limp noodle from this shit. I got limp noodle from this shit. When they were having sex, I was a boner killer. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, we're, this is the one, this is the one time, this is the one time I'm happy to be alone on fucking Valentine's Day. This is the one time. No fucking <laughs> shit. No shit. Amen I to fucking that. wanted, Ed, I <laughs> wanted fucking, fucking Jacob to fucking eat my insides, not sexually. So thank you very much. I don't know, man, Jacob was Taylor Lautner, I think If he was shark him. boy, not a child, obviously, I'd let him do whatever he want to me, but just, fuck, man. All right. All right, Fuck Andre. You. Yeah, so, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Fuck right, Andre, you. So since you weren't screaming at me, how are you doing? <laughs> I wish for death. I. These films remind me of my That's... mortality, and that every second in my life is precious. Before the inevitable timer goes off, where my life ends, and I go to wherever the hell I go, probably hell. And uh, the the seven yeah. to you nine, know, you know, Ryan, seven to nine hours. Ryan. The seven to nine hours that I wasted watching fucking Twilight movies, man. I'm never going to get those back, right? <laughs> you, you, uh, Pickle, you'll you never right. get them we back. Should, no? Pickle, you were right. We should have just fucking watched Fifty Shades for the Valentine's Day podcast. I, you see that? I like, over... That's... Actually, that wasn't my idea. Next, year. No. next Valentine's Day. Hell no. Watch Fifty Shades. Fuck no. Do not make one, me watch one Fifty K Shades. 1K likes and we'll do... One thousand, one thousand likes. One thousand likes. How about for, how about we'll for fucking Smash Valentine's Day instead? I'd rather, for I'd Valentine's rather. Day, we should all just pick out our favorite porno and review those. <laughs> Stepsister and the pumpkin. We'll That's just fine. post like URL links to <laughs> I, <laughs> share it. I, anything's better. Half of them's gonna Friggin, be hentai. I'd rather paint my asshole Fifty Shades of Grey before watching all the Fifty Shades of Grey. Movies. <laughs> 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 Anyways. So, in case you didn't read the title or you didn't... No, read, no, Matt, no. We're not done shitting on you, okay? We're not fucking <laughs> done fuck yet. Up, we have so much pent-up aggression because of what you made us <laughs> fucking do. I don't know. Right, it wasn't quite right. as bad as I thought it was going to be overall. It wasn't good. No. I considered abortion uh, after watching this movie. It's really... It's real. Okay, honestly, like, the series is not that bad. Fuck you. It's really yes, not it that bad. Like, it... Like it's, it really like is. It's bad, but it's not like right, uh, uh, huh, uh, oh, oh, dumpster fire like Robocop was. Let, 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 let me say. I wanted to fucking kill let me myself. Just say, all right. I like the in. I like the concept of Twilight. Like I like the idea of there being vampires and they are not friends with wolves and they hide out in foresty low population areas. I don't even mind the fact that they have superpowers because it sometimes leads to pretty cool shit. What I don't like. Yeah is the fact that they took such a inherently interesting idea and decided, no, no, no. There's not enough stupid <laughs> gay romance in it. Let's make the woman. He like, she like the, the vampire. But then the wolf man show up and he go, ah, woo. So she's like, oh, maybe I like him too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here's, here's the, we'll, get, we'll get into it, but this fucking franchise is the sole reason vampires are fucking dead in any movie. This is the sole reason. <laughs> no one likes Do vampires really? anymore. Is that true? Yeah. Well, is that I true? Mean, this is, you know, everyone did vampires to death after this. Wizards of Waverly Place. Fucking no, dude, my babysitter's gonna... a vampire. Okay, that game was like fucking a... dope. Vampires like... were the thing, and it fucking died. No, Twilight is like the Sonic 06 of vampire movies. It, it destroyed it so bad that no matter how good a new vampire movie comes out is, everyone is going. there's always going to be that one guy in the background that's like, Remember the time that vampires sparkled in the sunshine? Friggin. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna say it. The Fright Night remake with Colin Farrell was the last good vampire movie ever. I'm saying it right here. <laughs> I don't watch movies, so okay, cool. Okay, boys, listen, though. But but this is the real question, though, right? This is the actual question of the uh, night, If you're okay? going to say Jacob or Edward, it's going to be Jacob every time, all right? It's, Jacob. No. It's Fuck not yes, Jacob. it is. It's fucking I, Taylor Walker. I was, was going to say Team Jacob or Team Edward. Team fucking Jacob. 
Fucking Taylor Lautner all the way, bro. Uh, wait. Furries are much hotter no, than fucking okay. Vampires. He's probably okay. better. He doesn't I'll fuck, say he this. didn't fucking right. abandon Bella. I'll say this. I'm Team Jacob in every movie except the last one. In like the last 15 minutes all of the right, fourth we'll get one. The, we'll s- <laughs> Let's save that for the end of the podcast. Well, we'll, say, we'll, I, we'll get there. I'm more we'll inclined get, we'll get to the Collins. I like the Collins a lot more than than the tribe. I don't know. I just no, like no, them no. better. Tell them the reason why you like the Collins better, we'll Matt. To, Tell them the we, reason we why. Matt, <laughs> Matt, we should probably introduce Matt, ourselves tell me the we first, get Matt, into the movie. All right. This motherfucker. Guys, let's just get to the... Let's just, this, this let's motherfucker. just get to the first movie, all right? We'll get, we'll get there no, when no, no. we get there. I, I have to point this out. The reason why he likes the Collins more. Okay, so... Uh, my name is All Sebastian right. Exall. Matt. Oh, we forgot to do the introductions. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. They know who we are. Shut up. They know who we are. They know, if you don't know pants, who, you, who we are, why mind. are you here? No, I'm the fucking key to your pants. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> this nah, is why I'm quitting. And then there's me, who wants to blow my fucking You're brains out. You're the key out. to the 1997 broken down Sudan. <laughs> Well, I'm the key to the whole house, right? <laughs> Friggin- <laughs> oh, God. This is, this is gonna be such a bitch to edit. Oh, well. Alright. It's fine. Hey, your fault, motherfucker. Right, first meme. <laughs> first movie. Not first meme. Meme review's dead, alright? It's been dead for like a year. Just like I want to be. Exactly. You see, all we're right, all on uh, the same page. Friggin- First movie came out so, in 2008. Uh, first... Friggin- it might as well have been in black and white, all right? I'm just going to say that right now. This one, this one is... Seriously, there was, like, no fucking color this in it. Yeah. is my least favorite out of the bunch. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I was going to As I'm thinking about too. it right now, as I'm thinking about it right now, this is my least favorite ep- uh, of the five that I saw. Friggin... It was, it had the least to do with, like, the cool vampire powers, so there wasn't anything fascinating going on there. The romance was literally just staring at each other until it happens. It was just, like, them staring across. And that was, and that's, and that's basically most of the movie. God, it took Not to mention that Bella literally couldn't, like, Christian Stewart could not look happy to save her own fucking life. She looked more dead than the other. I, I think she was meant, she was meant to look depressed, though. I think. That was, that was the whole point. I, th- I think. I know. Oh, well, I, that was the case. They fucking succeeded. <laughs> I know a lot of people give Christian Stewart a lot of shit for how she acted in this movie, uh, but. Uh, to me, like, the way I'm looking at it, it's like, I don't think there's a single actress in the universe that can make this kind of character likable to any extent. Friggin... Uh, well, again, yeah, I know. It's just, just the very, writing of her she's character. Very she's just poorly um, written. Friggin... She's, she's just such an insufferable character. Did you guys, did you guys ever read the books? Literally? I did not. No. And fucking of course I, not. Uh, okay, actually, uh, actually, I'll say no. Full disclaimer: the only okay, so the only person who actually read the books was Sebastian. Not I have not choice. read them. Not Andre has not read them, choice. and Pickle has not read them. So yeah. Not my. I can't read. Not in my general. sister. I can't remember if it was my sister Skylar or Riley, but they were just like, "Hey, you should read this," and I'm like, "All right." And then I fucking hated the second book, and they're like, "No, you have to finish it." You know what I mean? That's basically what happened. So. So in the. This first movie, uh, Jacob is basically non-existent. Uh, he shows up like twice. Says yeah, he's basically like, nothing hey, of I'm, importance I'm, other than it's... like he kind of alludes to the whole tribal thing that happens in the second one uh, on a beach, I think. Foreshadowing. Uh, Yo, spoilers, dude! You gotta make him wait for like five they, minutes. Uh, for... I'm gonna assume everyone has seen the fucking movie, dude. <laughs> this movie um... is like. 13 no, years old. Oh, wow. It's almost like it's a review over the entire freaking series. Oh, no. Spoilers. Whatever. God. Yeah, bro. We've never done this a spoiler took... alert Fucking. in this entire <laughs> franchise. Not even when we did The Invisible Man, which came out last year. We never. We have never done a, a <laughs> spoiler. Uh, we've never done a spoiler warning. And I. we don't intend to now. Dude. Literally the only character. Uh, this movie. Took We're gonna tell them everything about these movies so, so that they don't have to watch them. How about that? The only characters that I actually liked Dude. in this movie, in this one, I know that some of the side characters become a little bit better as it goes along, 
but in this one specifically, literally the oh, they're like no, the, not really. They are the, the only, only things that carry this franchise. <laughs> literally, the only characters I liked in this first movie were uh, the dads, uh, Charlie and and uh, what is his name? Something with, that also starts with a C. Carlisle. Like, Carlisle. Doctor Carlisle. Yeah. Doctor Carlisle. Yeah. Friggin. The, yeah, honestly. Friggin. Th those are the only characters I liked in the first one, and like. The more I think about it, and I mentioned this to Matt earlier, uh, but the, the more I think about how the vampires, l how they act and behave and what their general aesthetic is, I was like, why isn't this an anime? Friggin' <laughs> It was like, because they have the glowing red eyes. Yo, and I mean, yeah, eyes. honestly. I, I mean, was they, honestly, they're, 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 I mean, I was honestly thinking that too. Like, I definitely would have had a better time if this was like an animation. It should have been. Rather than like, it should have been because they tried. They try to do a lot of stuff that just doesn't look good. Like, they do that super quick, uh, like, whenever they're, like, running, but they're trying to look as fast as possible, and it's not the slow-mo shots of them running. <laughs> it's, like, these phase things, kind of like the instant transmissions from Dragon Ball kind of thing going on, and it looks so fucking bad. It's, like... <laughs> it does. Like, Christ almighty. I get they did the best they could, but they should have tried harder. <laughs> or just make it animated. Friggin. Though I did find out there's oh, yeah. a manga adaptation of the first book. Friggin. Wait, really? Yeah. There's a manga adaptation. Hold up. Uh, it's on Hold up, hold I, up. I'm about to... I'm about to Google the shit out of this real quick. Hold up. <laughs> Matt, I might have to burn a book if you buy it. I'm, I'm gonna have to Google this real quick. This is gonna be very important to me. So, uh, here's the thing... Things I enjoyed about this movie. Well, number one, let me just say... It took so long to get going. Like, for real. Like, I'm good with them taking... Like, I love when p directors take time telling their story. But this could have gotten to the point of, oh, he's a fucking vampire. 25, 30 minutes in. Not 45 fucking minutes in. And they only had a little over an it hour was, of runtime left. Like, it was you know such I mean? a slow movie. Like, it, it was so slow. And the thing is, like... All the and what's ironic? Super and what's slow. Not ironic really. Breaking is, Dawn Part Two is actually fairly quick. Yeah, for real. It's two scenes, but like, still felt like an eternity. Still, the first like, one is know, actually the longest one out of the bunch. It might. The second one might actually be the longest, but I think this one is like one I of the, think, one yeah, of the longer the ones. Uh, freaking. But. Yeah, I think the second is the longest in the franchise. Is. What's What's interesting is like, after the vampire reveal scene, like you're a vampire. Which, by the way, like, that's exactly how it was in the book, but it was really cheesy. Like, say it. I want to hear you say it. Why the fuck you need to hear me say it, dude? Like, it, it's, it's obvious. You know what I mean? But, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, but, like, after that, it was just fucking going. Probably because they didn't have much runtime left by then. But, like, and the thing is, I was going to say this near the end, but, like, these movies relatively can run quickly in a weird way. Not because it's exciting, just because there's a million things happening. You know what I mean? Like, these movies run fairly quickly, but this one dragged on a lot. Uh, friggin but anyway, the things I like... Yeah, I can are, see that, yeah. Are, I can see that, There yeah. are a couple of laughably bad moments in this one, though, I will admit. Like, uh, like the whole thing where fucking how when Bella first sees Edward in her biology class or whatever, he immediately, like, the second he wa she walks into frame, oh, he goes yeah. straight up, he goes full on Bruce from Finding Nemo and goes, Ooh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like, seriously, he's like, I can smell you. He's like, just a bite. <laughs> um, another thing, I, I really like the Collins family. I wish we could have learned more about them. That's why. Oh I my god! Right, okay, let's get this. Let's get this. Okay, so it would have been interesting if we could. Between Alice and Matt over with right now. Let's get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you heard. I'm sorry. You heard. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It is. She's just too damn hot, bro. She's she's too damn hot. She's I'm very sorry. she's a very. I'm gonna be honest lady. with you guys. I watched the first three movies the with first... Matt. He had his dick out at least. 
fuck her, I'm sorry, no. But for, like, the first three movies, bro, she was so freaking hot. And then, like, in Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2, I'm like, eh, I'm over it. But she's so fucking hot in the first three movies. <laughs> but That's why I thought she was out of her freaking hottest, you know, dude, was Breaking be, Dawn Part 1. That dress got me acting so up. It'd be so sad. It'd be so sad. You go up to her and ask her out, and if she said there, she sees no future with you, she'd literally be telling the truth. It's... <laughs> 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 so, oh my god, <laughs> that's just cold blooded, bro. That's just cold blooded, dude. Like, I don't. It's the I fucking don't know truth, though. Noticed, but like, vampires, they had a certain set of abilities, right? And then in Twilight, they were like, you know, let's just make them broken. Uh, let's just give a super speed. <laughs> oh my god, no, no. Oh my god, freaking, especially the uh, uh, what, uh the the one in Breaking Dawn part two. Where that one guy is just able to just control the elements. Yeah, uh, this dude just Rami becomes Malik, the freaking avatar. The guy, uh, Rami, Rami Malek, the guy that played uh, Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, uh -huh. Friggin'. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he, he's a, he's a element bender. But no, they're like, they're like, okay, vampires. What can they do in normal things? Uh, they drink blood. They turn into bats sometimes, and they hate the sun. And she and Stephanie Meyer, whoever wrote the book, I think that's her name, is all like, "All right, yes. Now let's do this. All right, we make them sparkle in the sunshine, not because they they're, they can't be alert. Not they they're not I allergic can't. to sunshine. They don't die in sunshine. They sparkle. They now, just, now why would you do I, that? Uh... Now why would you do that? Oh, because if they sparkle, it means that they are exposed." And they die because of the vampire council that apparently exists. Uh, super speed and Even super strength is a must. Is we out all the time. <laughs> we can't have that epic car. We can't have that epic car stopping scene without him having super strength. Friggin'. And you know what would have been funny? Like the when when uh, Bella was realizing he was a vampire. Like your hands are always cold. He's like, I'm no, just a like, cold temperature person. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's like. She's so like, dude, that's just who I am. So, like, and it's weird because their powers actually can take, they actually, like, take away powers that could be available for, like, werewolves, too. Because it's like, they have super speed, they have super strength, they can, and they can smell blood from, like, a half a mile away or some shit. Uh, the, and I'm like, why do they have super sniffers? Friggin'. Let, that that would that that makes sense yeah, for werewolves. Yeah, that should be the fucking doggos' that abilities. That makes sense for werewolves, but like, why would the vampires have super sniffers? It's like, well, plus not to mention that like vampires are supposed to die when they touch like any kind of running water, you know, like rivers, ocean, shit like that. But then there's like thirty million fucking water scenes in all the movies, and it's like, what the why fuck? Does the, why does this film franchise have a boner for? vampires walking throughout the oceans like it's in every fucking movie like they're walking and you start to see their head come out of the water it's just what the fuck that's at its worst in breaking dawn part one but yeah the first movie's boring there's nothing to talk about i when the first when i first noticed that the lady that plays poppy anna kendrick uh was in it or, or i think that's her name not anna kendrick that's not right yeah. is it no, it is Anna. The, la the lady that yeah, plays Anna Poppy Kendrick. and Trolls. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the f when I first noticed that, I was like, oh, fuck off. Uh, friggin', I hate, I usually... She was young I, in this film. I have a deep-seated hate for things that have supernatural shit going on, and then they have to go to school in the middle of it. I think, yeah, the box office and budget. So you're saying, these movies, I think they started filming in around 2006 or seven. The movie was released in November 21st of 2008. Okay, so the budget for this film... This is gonna sound big, but you just you fucking wait. The budget for the very first Twilight movie was $37 million. And it turned out that fucking bad? Dude, that's like... <laughs> just, just wait till we get to the... That's just like, wait till we get to the next movies, my friend. That's like... Alright. Dude, that's okay. like... Four times the budget that's like. of Hot Fuzz. That's like... <laughs> again. Okay. Alright, so... That is straight... Get, get ready for this. Get re Alright, so... 
these movies were opened in about 3,400 theaters worldwide. Oh, God. Like, that's great. So, oh, opening weekend. You ready for this shit? Opening weekend, yeah, they made sure. $69,637,740. That, that's so fucking fitting. About a movie about fucking horny teenagers making $69 million. God, dude. And, uh, Man, that overall... So... <laughs> the fact that it came out in 2008 just makes me so upset. There were so many better movies that came out in 2008. You know, like The Dark Knight, fucking... Iron Man... Freaking Kung Fu Panda, <laughs> you know, freaking the wrestler. Um, so <laughs> overall, <laughs> uh, when everything was said and done, overall, this movie made one hundred ninety-two million seven hundred sixty-nine thousand eight hundred fifty-four dollars. Good to know that they're rewarding shit work. Yeah, good. Hey, to... you know, it it Bruh. got better. It got better in time, somewhat. I... No, they fucking didn't. None of these movies were better than the other. I No, Ryan, I would say that that is not the most egregious thing that I've seen get a buttload of money for not being good. I mean, uh, frickin' The Lion King remake... The, li the I Lion know, look King at the emoji movie. ...was, like, the highest grossing animated movie of all time, and they didn't even try with that one. I'm pretty Friggin sure that's just... I mean, bro, like, that's just, a, like, that's just like with every freaking Disney live-action remake, bro. That's just with yeah, every single one of them. Yeah, they always turn out successful hey, no matter what. not a single one of them are no. as good as the original, right? So it's like... They've been doing this for years. We're good. The only movie, the only the only live action adaptation that I can think of of the last like several years that didn't get like a bunch of praise for being shitty uh, was Cats. That's the only movie I can think of that was a. Oh my God! Would you would you shut the fuck Stop up about Cats? Stop fucking bringing that movie up! Christ! Jiminy Christmas, guys! They don't know I've been listening to Cats. Friggin'. <laughs> <laughs> you bring it yeah, up in we every do. podcast. Tell us as bad as Matt with this us. fucking series. All right, already, already, already. Twilight New Moon. All right. And Happy and fucking Valentine's Day, everyone. Fuck. Uh, okay. All right. I listen to All right. I give. I give. Everybody act like I'm I give. Shut up, Twilight <laughs> New Moon. I give right, Twilight so. the first movie four out of ten. Oh god, this is... Just right, cause so. I want rum tum tuggers or rum tum tug me every now and at the end. SHUT THE FUCK UP! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, that was actually pretty funny. I'm sorry, <laughs> mom. I'm sorry, mom, you know, that you had to hear that. God. My mom listens to our podcasts, by the way, so I'm like, I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry you had to hear that. Hi, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that just makes things so much better. <laughs> All right, Twilight New Moon. Oh gosh, I would like to point out that none of these movies have anything to do with their names. Again, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's the same thing. With, it's it the funny, same though. thing with the Twilight movies. They knew they were making shit, and they gave it to us anyway. They knew they messed up, and they mm -hmm. were like, "Oh, send it out anyway." They didn't. <laughs> People ate that shit. They right did not up. know they go. were making shit. They did not know they were. They anyway. Uh, this movie, uh, I think it was a little better than the first one. Only a little bit. Only, only slightly. I think it's because I like werewolves better than vampires. Like point zero one percent better. You're good. I think the lore of vampires no, this... is cooler, but you know, werewolves are a lot better. Oh say. shit, dude. No, see, we, like, I, I like. <laughs> Only reason I like this one better than the original is because fucking, goddamn, I I don't even care to remember their names. But fucking Belle's like boyfriend, fucking the Edward. vampire, he just keeps emotionally fucking traumatizing her throughout the yeah, fucking like, movie. I, it's like, hey, I break up with you, but I'm gonna keep fucking lingering in your consciousness. Yeah, like what was the fucking point of that? <laughs> the disturb first... you every the... chance I, I get. Just, I never got that. The first movie was... literally ended with. We're different, but I'm gonna love you. And then it began with, "I'm gonna leave you now." Dude, <laughs> like, what wait, the fuck? wait, wait, wait. We we tote. We, <laughs> I'm gonna emotionally abuse you every step totally of the way. Forgot about the entire like 
conflict of the first movie that was the the trio that <laughs> that was hunting Elizabeth. Because there was no conflict. No. He was only in the movie for was, five minutes. There was like three vampires. Uh, that there, were was hunting, a, there was a blonde uh, that, were hunting, the, that were hunting Bella or whatever. And uh, 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 uh for for those. Oh, that, that's for, right. That's for, right. <laughs> These movies are so fucking For those that didn't get it, uh, for about 15 minutes of screen time, the villains of the first film, really only one of them was a real villain, two of them left. It was a blonde-haired fucker, and then he got murdered. Yeah, and, uh, the second and now movie, the other two are the villains. Second, the Bitch second got movie, you find out that, uh, fucking, uh, Victoria, one of the three, there's Laurent, Victoria, and then White Guy. Uh, freaking. The, <laughs> uh,. Well, it turns out white guy was uh, the boyfriend of Victoria, and now Victoria is all like, "All right, bitch, you killed my boyfriend. I'm coming for your girl." And Edward's like, "Uh uh-uh. uh." I love how the. Uh uh-uh. I love how the. Le- I love how the. You least- kill my boyfriend. I'm gonna I- kill your. I, l- I love how the least oh interesting God. person in that trio was the last one to go. I love that. <laughs> the least interesting person. Yeah. Anyway, and, uh, uh, this film. This one, what what was this movie about? Uh, freaking uh, all I can recall. Edward, Edward, <laughs> Edward left because he's like I can't control my urges, and then Jacob got a haircut. And the what was the actual? Yeah, the whole movie. Okay, no. What was the actual plot to this one? Uh, Ed, emotionally Ed, scar Ed, Bella. Edward, if I can, that's it. If I can, emotionally if scar I can her. Recall, all right. If I can recall the plot. Basically, all this movie did was reveal the whole werewolf shit with uh, Jacob, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, Edward leaves because hey, he wants look, to. Pro- Edward leaves Bella because he wants to protect her or some shit, even though that makes no freaking sense. Uh, but Edward keeps showing up as like force ghosts anyway. Freaking. <laughs> got and Bella keeps trying to get his attention by doing reckless things that intentionally are trying to put her in danger, hoping that Edward will try and save her. So. But instead, Edward wants to kill himself after. (laughs) But no, like, er, like, literally every time Bella is about to do something stupid, Edward shows up as a force ghost, and he's all like, don't do this. (laughs) He's like, don't. "Ah." (laughs) Yeah, exactly. He just emotionally abuses her the entire fucking movie. I will say this one thing. until the last second where the werewolves get in the way of Alice's future vision. And she's all like, dude, like, Bella's totes dead, yo. And then Jacob makes that very... That's mis- literally... And then Jacob makes that misleading that is phone something... call with Edward, which was, like, a real dick move. Uh, but then Edward tries yeah, to kill himself. That is something I thought... Oh, yeah, no, that was so... Yeah. That was, <laughs> like... Uh, you know, God. the whole Alice's fucking... Uh, uh, like, uh... Uh, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, fuck. Fuck, what's the word? Where are you looking to the future? What's that word? Uh, a future vision. It's just future prediction. vision. Prediction. Prediction, vision. Prediction. No, no, uh, psychic. That, that's, what, that's what I was looking for. Her whole psychic vision thing. That's the one thing I thought that was interesting. It's always right, and then, like, for the first time, it was fucking wrong. I don't know why they didn't go into that more in, with the other movies. Like she gets something wrong you know what i mean like i thought that was interesting to think she can be wrong sometimes but they never really touched on it again there was definitely more stuff i remember of course they won it all the characters are flawless there was definitely more stuff that i remembered about this one than the first one i would say uh uh taylor lautner had a shirt off because it was slightly more interesting yeah taylor lautner was shirtless i guess Mm -hmm. that was cool then you, re- dude, it's yeah, so it was. fucking weird that Taylor Lautner is supposed to play a sixteen-year-old, like for real. Again, like wasn't makes- he actually sixteen when these movies were being no, filmed? No way. How old was he? Though? No way. Again. Well, he, I, they f- they did fucking Shark Boy and Lava Girl in two thousand four, and he was like twelve. So, okay, hold on. Hey Google. How old was Taylor Lautner when they filmed Twilight? Oh, God. 17 years old. There you go, 17. Okay. I figured. Hey, Google, he, shut he up. Ages, 17. He ages quick then, because he looks like an adult by the time the second movie comes around. He he does not look... Well, he basically... He does not look like well, a teen. He had to be, well, he had to be 19 when they did the second movie. 
Freaking heat, heat up. No, he would have to be 18. <laughs> it was a one year part, dude. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wait, did they did they Lord of the Rings these movies? That's the one thing I couldn't find. Did they film them at the same time? They were filming the movies back. I don't think they so. They were filming these movies back to back to back to back to back to back to back. We're good. Well, no, I think there was a two year jump between this one and New Moon. I'm pretty no, sure. No, there isn't. This one came out all like. The right no, they all year. came out year after year. Dude, this movie started. Oh. New Moon started production in like January of 20, 2009, and then came out in like November of 2009. Friggin'. Oh, God. That's probably why the wow. effect. That's probably why the effects didn't look that better in this film. Because it was less than a year. The werewolves look <laughs> like straight That sounds like trash. a Scott Cawthon thing. Around the ending, around the end, they kind of look better. Like a little bit, but. Probably because they took their time with it and had a shit ton of money, which we'll talk about. Oh my god. The whole pack. Oh god. I, okay, I'm gonna say right here, like literally the like the best villain in this entire franchise is uh what's his name? Aro, the uh the British Italian uh head vampire guy. The guy the what? guy that if he, Wait, if about he the touches black dude? you he can see everything in your mind basically. He's like Oh, yep. Ella. They, oh, Edward. Yep, they, How are you doing today? They spent five films leading to him, pretty much. So, Oh, goodness. But anyway, this film... Uh, you know what? The script was uh, somewhat decent, I guess. Bella was still a horrible character in this film. She, still. but She was dumb. And Edward... She was uh, yeah, and Edward made no sense as usual. I really only liked I, so, I, only, I really only liked like the Paris and Jacob, and the Collins family. You know well, what I mean? <laughs> like, here's the thing, right? I only like this movie slightly more just because Kristen Stewart's acting actually looks believable when she's with the when she's with fucking Jacob. Probably because they have more real. Chemistry, they have better chemistry. Yeah, they have better chemistry. we're good. Yeah. And also, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, they might have done something together before this. So they might have already known each other. I don't know. I don't fucking keep up with drama from like eight, ten years ago. Jeez. Uh, alright. Just acting just, stuff, bro. Yeah, ju just to get this fucking film over with. Uh, alright, so the last movie made bank, right? Last movie made bank. Excuse me. It only it only makes more yeah, after all right, this. Alright, so huh? Twilight New Moon. I would just like to point out in the poster Edward is front and center when this movie is not about Edward in any way. I don't understand why, but anyway. Yeah. I mean it's kinda of about yeah. him. In the poster, oh wait, no, fucking Jacob the, it's about have no, you seen I, the book covers? Have you seen yeah, the book Jacob. covers to all these things that they have nothing to do with the book? Oh yeah. All right, like, we, we ain't gonna go into the books. Fucking, no, the first one is the only... Seabass, just say the numbers. No, the first book is the only one that made sense because it was Edward with the apple in his hands. That's the first one that... That's the only one that made sense. The only one was, like, chess pieces and, like, flowers. No, like, the first... And then Eclipse was, the like, another the flower. The first one I saw was, was somebody holding an apple. That was it. And, uh... It was, it was Edward. And it was... And then the second one was, like, a ribbon or something. And then, mm -hmm. like... The last one. I thought one. the third one was Ribbon. Well, maybe the books go in more detail about it, bro. Maybe. I don't know. But, like, Probably. And then All right, the, anyway. The, okay. And then so the, the new book, book that they wrote, like, last year, like, Midnight Sun or whatever it's called, it had, like, a fucking pomegranate, and that was its cover. It was a fucking pomegranate. It was like... <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. So, the budget for this film was $50 million even. $50 million. Where did it go? Gosh. All right. So this is very interesting, and I'm going to keep you guys up with this. So keep this in mind. <coughs> Bless, Bless you. you. We've never done this before, so Bless keep this you. in mind. Okay. So in about 4,000 theaters, a little more than usual, opening weekend, this film made $142,839,137. It made so they basically tripled oh their profit. God, on opening they weekend, not. Oh no, we're not done. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Don't don't worry. Uh, after this, I'm gonna read you the DVD sales. That's gonna be insane. Okay. <laughs> oh, Christ Almighty! Shut up. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, overall, when they left the theaters, they left with two hundred and sixty-nine million six hundred twenty-three thousand six hundred. Again, sixty-nine. That can't be a convenience. Good lord. Man, Did you guys get all that? There are... Just 296 million. I tell you what... DVD sales! Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. God. Are you ready for this? Yeah, fucking bring it, I want it, you bitch. guys to make sure you're not drinking anything and that you're breathing properly. Because DVD sales... 711... Or, I'm sorry, 711,000 <laughs> million. 711 million. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh they almost made a fucking billion dollars off that Damn shit. Damn in DVD sales. Holy fuck. Nearly a billion dollars. That... They didn't even need to make it. That close. is amazing. This was close to fucking Avatar. As far Remember, Avatar led the fucking uh, leading profit for like 10 years. Yeah, the box office bullshit. Before Infinity War. This almost got close to it. <laughs> That's fucking Actually, ridiculous. wait, no, Avatar came out a month after this, so this might have been in the lead before fucking... <laughs> before Avatar. That's ridiculous, oh dude. Oh my fucking god. Oh, by the way, guys, just to be clear, it, it only gets higher from here, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, of course it does. Why wouldn't it? There sure are. There, oh boy, here we there go. There sure are a lot of lonely, horny, goth GFs out there, aren't there? I swear. You're gonna... You know what, like... No, no, like... it isn't, because I remember my mom literally going out with some of her friends watching these movies, why? dude. Why? Do you know what why? What is the okay, appeal? So, I... <laughs> These movies do not affect me the way they affect you guys because I grew up watching these. I grew up I... watching them too. I just never liked them. You because poor I would soul. Always have to watch them. You poor soul. Well, the well, thing is, is that like, I grew up watching them with my um, cousins and my mom, and all they would talk about is Twilight and stuff. So like, oh fuck, I, wait, it was it was normal to me. I didn't really care. Fuck, I, I'm. I'm uh... Wait, Matt. So are you giving them payback by being a weeb? By the way, uh... what's that? Are you, is it payback by you being a weeb? Yeah, sure. By the way, fuck me, I'm sorry. Uh, I missed something. So, the night before, like, literally the day before Eclipse was set to release, they put Twilight and New Moon back in theaters, so that way fans could catch up right before the new movie came out. Get ready for this. Of no, no, no. They did. In about 2,000 theaters, the movie made another two and a half million each movie. Made about another two and a half million being in theaters the night before Eclipse. Christ. When I They dude, got more the... money for reruns. It's like it's like huh. when it's oh, like when fucking... AMC did that thing where they opened up a couple of theaters to just play all of the MCU movies before Endgame right in a row. <laughs> Shigan. Yep. Bro. We're like 40 minutes in, and we're not even on. We're not even on Breaking Dawn yet. No, we're not. We're, <laughs> I think we need to speed fault. stuff this up. This is your fault. <laughs> it is. It is. By, by the way, by the way, uh, oh, in, case, in case you guys haven't heard me, it only gets higher from here. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But Eclipse. you know what, though, I feel like these movies do get better as they go along, though. Well, yeah. By the so way, by like the they way, slightly uh, get better. I will so also slightly. say, good for them. They made their. They made their fucking money. So good for them. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, bro. I mean, freaking. I mean, you can't argue with the freaking with the freaking facts and results, bro. I mean, they're yep. making a shitload of money. They're gonna keep doing it, dude. All right, I guess should we so. Get into, should I we, just uh, don't get, personally get see the... the appeal. I personally don't see the appeal. Should we? Uh, oh yeah, no, absolutely. Well, no. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, Andre, absolutely. Yeah, I don't, right. I don't like, I don't like these movies at all. I, I just. I don't care. Should we, uh, I'm get not, in, should I kind we of have a hard time believing that, Matt. Can, You're the one who wanted to watch these. Should we get into these? what I consider the best and worst one at the same time? Should we get into that one? Okay, yeah. so... Eclipse was polarizing I, Okay, so I... Okay, so I like Eclipse, and I also don't like it. Okay. It's the best one I, in a weird way. Okay, let me tell you something right now. So, the first two movies... I really, really, really like Jacob more than Edward. Yes. And then in like Eclipse and in uh, Breaking Dawn Part One and Two, I like Edward more than Jacob. 
Oh, we'll get into Dude, that. I literally this... have the reason written down. I... Jacob is just insufferable. In this one? He's just an insufferable cunt. Through, in in through, Eclipse? Throughout the rest of the franchise. In Eclipse specifically, though, mm -hmm. Ed, uh, no, Jacob is just... He's like, no, you love me. And she's like, no, I don't. And he's like, no, you love me. It's like, no. <laughs> you love me. You love me. You love me. Uh, it's so freaking. And it's super creepy. Oh, my God, dude. No, the, he is he is such an insufferable person. Do you know what's even dude, worse? When he the rest of the when series. He, dude, like, who says this? When you want me to kiss you, just say it. Like, what the fuck? Who says that? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> was you that want me to kiss wide? you, I want you to say it. What the fuck? No, but you know what's even worse? The fact that she, that Jacob makes a max on Bella without her consent, and then later on, he he's proven to be right, and that she actually does have feelings for him the whole time, and I'm just like, you dumb bit. <laughs> it's like... They don't go right. anywhere, I'm sorry, you're, you're an idiot if you didn't realize that to begin with. Oh, uh, this is God a bit. Uh, 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 we forgot to mention the whole thing in the last movie where it's like, oh, uh, by the way, uh, since Bella knows about vampires, you have to bite her in like a couple of months or we're going to kill you. Bye bye. And then freaking Edward's like, I don't think, but. You know, my thing is, though, is that like. <laughs> Edward really had no problem with Jacob until Jacob started talking shit. Yeah, that's true. That's like, but, oh my god! Yeah, until really they started being racist. By the way, by, can I just say, they never really fought, did they? Which is what everyone wanted to see. Yeah, I, I like, really them, like, fight. There was a few it. like back and forths, but it wasn't like a full-on fight. I think people wanted to see them have a fucking fight. But like, an anime style mm -hmm. like an anime-style battle. Like an anime-style fight. Death. No, just fucking... <laughs> I, I bet you why they didn't do it is because then they would have to explain the lore of what would happen if a vampire bites a werewolf. Like that shit. They would have to get into that oh and they god. probably didn't oh want to. Oh god, no, don't even. We don't Which, need another the way, fucking Predalien thing. Stop giving them we ideas. Exactly. Predalien but, thing. Yeah, I freaking... Exa but, for those that, but for those that don't know who aren't monster movie fans or into that mythical stuff, what is supposed to happen... If a werewolf scratches a vampire, a vampire looks like their real age, and if a vampire bites a werewolf, they just turn into a real wolf. That's the deal. That's what's supposed to happen. So Is that's that actually why. mythological <laughs> That's <shit>? very odd. <laughs> yeah, that's a real thing. We're good. If, wow. a, if a werewolf scratches a vampire, a vampire looks their age. They're still immortal. They just, if they're like 9,000 years old, they look like how a 9,000 year old would look. That's basically. So they turn to Emperor so they Palpatine. Turn so basically, like, no, so no. basically, if, no. if a 9,000 year old vampire gets scratched by a werewolf, they all of a sudden start looking like the fucking, the pirates from Pirates of the Caribbean and the Black Pearl, where it's like, you better start believing in ghost stories. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Miss Turner, <laughs> cause you're in one. Pretty much. I <laughs> love that movie by so the, much. And, and by the way, audience, I didn't steal that from Wizards of Waverly Place. That's a real thing. That actually happens. That's really in the thing. That was in Wizards yeah, of Waverly yeah, Place. Yeah, remember they tried to copy the whole Jacob and and Edward thing in Wizards when. Truth, truth be told, I don't remember shit from that freaking show. It's been so goddamn long. They just tried to capitalize on Twilight. That's basically what they did for like three years. Anyway. But anyway, back to Charlie. Back to, back to the you film. You better start believing to, in shitty romance clips. stories. Cause you're in one. Yeah. Back Friggin', to the film that was uh, both this, good this, and terrible. This movie has mad uh, Attack of the Clone Syndrome. Where like, it's, ex yep. it's basically the same. Where it's like, everything, half the movie is like, uh, Victoria amassing an army and all the vampires that are cooler than Jacob like Alice and Emmett and Jasper and all that uh, get ready to fight them and they team up with the wolves and it's really cool and then the other half of this movie is the romance and just like in Attack of the Clones it sinks the movie like a sh like the Titanic <laughs> okay guys have you know okay so I'm pretty sure you noticed this, but whenever the romance is not focused on, the movies actually get good. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least decent. Like, For at least a moment. At least decent. Friggin' like, uh... Well, yeah, because freaking you know, like, like, murder. When do you find out about Jasper's backstory and how he murdered, like... Uh... Oh, my God. Dude, okay, that was so bro. good. I love that. Okay, bro, like, okay, like, honestly, I, I would have rather watched movies about, like, the Cullen's backstories... 
than freaking anything at the rest throughout the rest of the series. Dude, actually, same. Like they were the most interesting thing to me, and they had so I much. I freaking loved Rose's backstory, where she just goes out and kills the guy who raped her. Yeah, yeah she, like, like that kills was good. all the guys oh, who yeah, raped dude, her. That was dude, badass. Like, and that leads to another thing that I wish they could have implemented, and I know they didn't have a reference because the movie came out after, but. I wish that because Edward is supposedly came out uh, became a vampire in like what like the early 1900s, right? He's been like a 17 year old. Yes. Like yeah. So I wish that that Edward had a bit of that Captain America good boyness to him, where he uh, like they kind of they well kind, he wasn't they kind of tapped in, in time, they, though. They kind of tap into it in uh, Breaking Dawn Part One. But like, I wish they leaned a little bit more into him having those old mo- those old style sensibilities. Uh, right. Him. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because he acts a little too modern for how old he supposedly is. Friggin'. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, sometimes I forget they're like hundreds of years old. Yeah, because sometimes I forget that. They don't really. <laughs> I think like I think it. the writers forget it too. The only time where the vampires <laughs> act the way they're supposed to is because in like Breaking Dawn two, when they amass this whole gang of them. It's because there's so many characters. Oh, it's, it's so you, cool. There's so many uh-huh. characters that they can only really basically get you to know them by basic stereotypes. <laughs> and they yeah. get and they get like the uh the the Russian vampires. Oh god. The Vladimir, oh god. One we, of them should we, uh... awesome. But we we'll we'll get there when we get there. We're we're still talking about Eclipse. There's a big epic battle. Our vampires made out of crystal meth or something. A friggin' Something like ceramic, that. like ceramic pottery. Oh, dude, can I talk about what I thought was the worst scene in this film? All no, of it? the fucking tent scene when Bella is trying to sleep. Oh yeah, and when then Jacob, and Jacob, when have Jacob to share is the tent nuzzling, when Jacob is nuzzling up against Bella, and he's all like, "What are you gonna do about it, mate?" Shirtless. What are you gonna do about it, mate? Shirtless <laughs> on the top of a fucking mountain. He's like, I'm, "That is, okay, no, you're cold. That I'm has got to be so frustrating for Edward." <laughs> Like, that was the worst line for me. You're cold. I'm hot. Like, ah, uh, get it? Because he's attractive. Get it? Uh, get it? <laughs> was like, yeah. like, get it? He's hot! He's got muscles! Like, I am that's never, all that was. I am never Steve going asked, to you scream that louder? I didn't really understand it. I'm never it. going to hear somebody say, let's pop a cold one with the boys without thinking of how the werewolves keep calling the vampires the cold ones in these movies. <laughs> Oh my God. Shout out the cold ones. I love that channel. The cold ones. <laughs> Pop a cold one with the boys. Just Max pops the head off of a vampire. Oh, dude. Sounds like a good time. God, man, this movie just. Uh, and then the, fi- the final the, battle I thought was interesting. The climax was pretty cool, like how uh, Victoria dies. Oh yeah. And uh, but I still. It was all very jarring to me because of how they're trying. They were clearly trying to get around gore in some way in these movies, right? And so I guess the best yep. course of action was that they were fucking made of ceramic or something. And how come it seems like they're indestructible sometimes? Like sometimes it seems like they're indestructible, and then other times you just like barely flick them their arms and they fly off and shit. You're getting. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, no, like. <laughs> These, I guess, okay, so sometimes these vampires will, like rip each other's arms off like they're damn mannequins. Yeah. yeah. It's freaking crazy. It like Chewbacca so from bad. Lego Star it Wars. It's so bad. We're good. It's like. Oh my god. There's like dude. times where like people are trying to oh. hold. The, the parts where people are trying to hold back werewolves because they're trying to fight. They're trying to pick a fight with vampires where like real people are trying to hold back the vamp the werewolves it looks so fake because it's so clear that they don't actually know where the werewolf is supposed to go so it's like <laughs> yep right so it's like just super vague uh, i will say i w- i will say that jasper probably just carried this movie mostly because i he's just jasper carried badass jasper to be clear audience movie. to be yeah. clear audience to be clear, audience, Jasper barely talks, and yet he carried this whole movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was a bad. This dude's, like, super freaking smart, intelligent, but he's brain my, 100 guy. He's dude. my favorite character, to be honest with you. Is it just me, like, though? I really like his cool. Is, it, is like it just me, though? Or is it, does it seem like that he didn't have the southerner accent that he did in this movie when they decided to tell his backstory about how he was born in Texas and he fought in Galveston? 
friggin' And like that, I feel like mm-hmm. like immediately before that scene was explained, he had a normal American accent, and then like after that that scene took place, all of a sudden they like retconned his accent to be uh, like a Southerner accent, and I'm like, hmm. Well then, well, you know what's funny about Aro's voice? They're supposed to be Italian, but yet he sounds like a British man. He sounds like a very high pitched British man. Like what the fuck? Oh, good God. Well, you can't just have Arrow oh. going around going, Mamma Mia, they're going to have a half-born baby. <laughs> Good God. They're going to have a half-born baby. I'm right. sucking your blood. Mamma Mia. All right, all right. They're, they're about to have an immortal, uh, it's, and it's, it's going it's... to decimate the village. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's time to get into the, the fuck. I don't smoke, but I could use a cigarette. I, this is just uh, getting ridiculous with these numbers. <laughs> I would, oh my. I would like okay, to say in right. advance that all right, here we... I'd like to say in advance that I would like to start off on the Breaking Dawn Part One shit, if you don't mind. <laughs> no, we're getting yeah, we're getting sure, into the, man. It's all getting you. Into the... I have no. I really have nothing to say about these movies, dude. I fucking hated all of them with every inch of well, my. Well, you're gonna heart. hate it even more, considering how much money this one made. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna guess the budget. I'm gonna guesstimate it made around three hundred million dollars. We're good. All right, R- Ryan, how much do you think this movie made? Opening, I'm gonna say opening weekend it made about on an opening weekend I'm gonna guess about two fifty, two hundred fifty million. Opening weekend? Then I'm gonna get, yeah, opening weekend. Then I'm gonna guess like total probably around five hundred million. Matt, how much did this movie make? Okay, so opening weekend, I'm gonna say they at least tripled their budget, but then like overall though, it's gonna get. Oh wait, yeah. Tell me that. what. Tell me what the budget was first, then I'll actually. No, you guess. guys made your thing. Okay, so the budget for this film, sixty-eight million dollars, about thirty million, about oh, okay. thirty million more than the first one. All right, so this is gonna blow your mind and sound disappointing at the same time. Really. Yep. So, uh, opening weekend, I would just like to say, as far as opening weekend, this was the least grossing movie out of opening weekend. Really? $64,832,191 opening weekend. Wow. That's the least. They actually lost money opening weekend. (laughs) Um... But as far as overall, as far as box office, this is the highest... Uh, box office movie. <laughs> All... Of course it is. Why wouldn't it uh, be? Okay. So, uh, box office. We're not even getting into DVD sales. Box office. This movie made $300,531,751. Uh, okay, can you repeat that number, please? $300,531,751. I was right, I was right on the Jesus up, Christ. Guy. Very good. Highest grossing, by the way. So this is the highest number out of all the movies. And the lowest opening weekend. DVD sales. Wow. Oh, fuck. All right, DVD <laughs> sales. I'm saying they hit almost a billion. I'm guessing almost a billion dollars in DVD Andre? sales. Like it, at the very least, like, at the very least, 500 million. Andre, uh, how much in DVD sales? About the same, about 500 million. Very good. And DVD sales. Six hundred and ninety eight million. Okay, that wasn't as much as I was expecting. It's less than New Moon. Six hundred and ninety eight million. Which makes sense because Eclipse is worse. Uh, I was Eclipse, expecting like a minimum Eclipse of eight hundred. Eclipse is the best movie. No. Eclipse is the best movie out of this. Not whole to me it is No. Not to me it isn't. No, Eclipse is not the best movie. Not in my opinion. I I'd say Breaking Dawn Part One and Two were the best ones. Eclipse to me is my I second say none least of them are favorite. Good. Very good. Really? I say the 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 romance well, the rom- According. Was, well, maybe not. It's very close between Moon, New Moon and uh, this one, but like there are parts in in part in uh, Eclipse that were so frustrating to me that it made me hate it to my very core. Very good. Excuse me. Yeah. So Oh my god. Uh and there were there was no rerun in the movie theaters before Breaking Dawn Part One. Just wanna point that out. I will say this, and this is kind of this isn't really a spoiler. 
But just to get into it, both part one and part two were distributed by different companies. So okay. Summit... these movies also had uh, different directors throughout yes, them, except for the last uh, except for two. Breaking Dawn Part One and Two, which were yeah, directed Summit, by yeah. Summit Entertainment. This... I think his name's like uh, Bill Condon. Yeah, or Bill something. Condon, the guy that directed the Beauty and the Beast live action remake. Yes. Uh, so Summit Entertainment distributed distributed all of those movies except the last one. Keep that in mind when I, when we get into this later. Keep that in mind. Okay. All right, Breaking Dawn Let's Part One. Breaking Dawn Part One. Sex. Right. That's all this movie is. No, Ryan, get off I, I fucking. Can, tune, I can give you a proper. I can give you a proper timeline of this movie. All right, it's it's one of the shorter ones actually. It's not even two hours, uh, unless you're watching the extended version. Nope. In which case, why would you do that to yourself? Uh, it's just more sex. Why is there an extended but, version? Uh, you, they have sex for 15 more minutes. But, like, the first ten minutes of this movie is a wedding. And that's pretty all right, uh, because there's, like, that weird good, nightmare no, thing that he has. That I mean, that she has about him uh, explaining his backstory how about how he fed his hunger by killing murderers. And that was pretty interesting, I guess. Uh, but then, after the first ten minutes when the wedding happens, literally until about halfway, until about an hour from the movie, into the movie. So, from about ten minutes into about an hour in. It is literally just them on a boat uh, in like a, on an island, just fucking the entire time. Just well, it's them. It's it, it's it's like a fifteen. Yeah. It's like a fifteen minute long scene at the beginning of it where Edward goes way too hard and accidentally bruises Bella, and then the rest of it until the last fifteen minutes is basically just Bella guilt tripping the shit out of Edward into having sex with her again. We're gonna, <laughs> and then they yeah, act su- spot on. And then they act surprised when, when she's, she's pregnant, pregnant, bro. Like, do you know how much fluid the, that was in her, bro? The, how much fluid is in her? Dude, the rest of the movie is just of her having this half breed baby that's growing super fast and it's like breaking her ribs and shit. And like the last fifteen minutes of this movie yeah. was actually like, ooh, was like it was crazy. It was intense, dude. It was crazy. She turned into freaking uh, Joaquin Phoenix yeah. <laughs> near the end of the movie. The, the only time, <laughs> dude, no. the, dude, the only time I was genuinely creeped out by the effects, but in any Twilight movie, were was when how they were doing the effects to make her look like her she was malnourished, and also like the scene uh, where she, she dude, seriously, she, they did so that was, fucking that was good with good. that. And also, uh, the scene where she tries to pick up a cup or somebody something that somebody drops. She tries to pick herself up to pick up the cup, and her spine breaks because the baby's too heavy. Yeah. Oh god! The oh god. god. Wait, also, is that the reason her back yep. broke? Well, the baby. Yeah. I thought like that one. I thought that one bitch was there. Dude, it, also CG baby. Oh, but that that's oh, yeah. part CG two. baby. That's, not, that's <laughs> not until part two. Uh. But no, I thought they showed the baby in part one as well. Was it? Well, it wasn't as noticeable in part one anyway. Yeah, remember Jacob? Jacob was like, <laughs> he's right. like, I'm gonna kill the baby. Uh, no, we'll he's get, like, we'll oh, get to, no, we'll get I'm gonna to, fuck her when she's we'll older. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. It uh, started but, in the, it started in this movie, so we can talk it about started, it. He it's, wanted it's, to fuck a baby. We spoil it. We're gonna talk about it. Boo hoo. He wanted to fuck a baby. <laughs> In, in Eclipse, uh, freaking Jacob talks about this thing called imprinting, which is basically like in the first movie, because it was in within the context of him talking to Bella, it was implied that it was like a, it was like a thing where it's like if you imprint on somebody, they're basically your soulmate, they're basically your soulmate or whatever. And what, what happens in part one of Breaking Dawn is. <laughs> It's a uh, Jacob and Prince on the baby, freaking, <laughs> and <laughs> and so that means eventually at some point. Did you try making that sound less pedo? Well, like, no, you cannot. He it's try- not possible. He tries to make it so- like in the second movie, in the second part, he tries to make it sound like it's not a pedophile thing, but then like. And all of the things that show that they're future together, he's in a relationship with with the Bella's baby. 
uh, which and which only takes about seven Yo, years. Yo, can from, we just can we just? But they grow like the baby. Even it grows really fast when it's born, and then like as it when it's birthed, it grows really fast anyway. And in Breaking Dawn Part Two, they mentioned that it took about like seven years before it grew to his full size, and he stayed that way ever since. And so, technically, can we just talk? Can we just talk about Part One and Part Two together? It should have just been one movie. Yeah, it, it should have. Cash grab yeah, we can talk about part. them both together. We're going so, but Jake might as well starts railing a seven-year-old basically. We're going and then Jacob was like. If I can't have Bella, I'm just gonna fuck her daughter. God damn it. <sighs> I do like the part where Bella beat the shit out of Jacob. I did like that. <laughs> I don't know. Just fucking Her... just beat the shit out of him. I am conflicted I'm on conflicted that. I'm conflicted on conflicted. it too because she seemed like overly like mean about even though it wasn't explicit. Yeah, I know. Like, Wait, how she would, seemed like. How would you act if you found out your friend, possible love interest, is like, I wanna fuck your baby? <laughs> well, like, how would you feel? He never he explicitly said he that. He just said that. He explicitly said that it was a sexual or romantic thing. Yeah, and like, they kind of. Right, it, it was. They, they kind of. That's exactly well, what it was. Well, she doesn't know that though. But friggin', it ends up being like. Well, here's the he thing though. Jacob just on it and say that it's like okay. a, like it's a more of a guardian kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jake. Okay, yeah, so. Jacob describes it as, like, being a close friend, a brother, and a protector. But then, like, that can lead to something else afterwards. But in the yeah, context of the scene itself, without <laughs> knowing that they get together in the end anyway, without knowing that, when I saw that the first time, I was like, wow, Bella's being a really big bitch right now. You're getting... And, mm -hmm. uh, by the, and by Breaking Dawn Part 2, she basically just becomes Ray Skywalker and doesn't have to try at all to get her abilities or whatsoever. And uh, she just, she's just busted. She's just busted for no she reason. Has the ability to, she has the ability to project shields onto people, I guess. Friggin'. Basically just negating, like, any status effect anybody puts on any person. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, really weird. Yeah, they could have trimmed... Okay, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. The first movie should have just been cut down to the part where, okay, she's pregnant. Okay, she has her baby. All right, and then we get into the second movie, and that's it. That's that's it. Like, you didn't really... Okay, so, like, it cuts to the wedding briefly, and then cut to the freaking honeymoon briefly, and then, and then go straight into the actual pregnancy thing. And then we can move on to the second movie. Which, the second movie really doesn't have anything to do with the first one in some instances, because... <sighs> Not to mention, okay, like so... in the second movie, Charlie finds out about werewolves, too. Uh, Bella's dad. Okay. Gonna... Okay, let me... Okay, let me explain. So, the only... <sighs> How do I explain this? It doesn't feel... They feel like two separate stories. Like, like, it doesn't feel like one, like, intertwining story. Mostly because of the fact that the main plot of the second movie is that, is that there, is that the Cullen's cousin basically snitched on them. That is basically the whole plot. And that, and that, and that, okay, and that was, like, really, really briefly hinted the fact that she hated werewolves. In the, in, like the in, third, in part one. Yeah, in like one of the movies, she briefly, briefly mentions that she hates werewolves. Sees Bella hanging out with, and with like, a werewolf, and then there's a baby, and that's it. And then says like, "Oh, there must be an immortal about." Again. Yeah, no, and like, there's like, it doesn't feel like it's not intertwined together fully, like. To me, the only thing that's actually intertwining these is just Bella turning to a vampire at, at the end of the movie and the baby. That's that's literally yeah, it. Part, it's not like a Infinity War Endgame thing where like both of the movies are essential for the whole experience, but like it's more like it's more right. like part one was bit part one was literally just the movie dragging its feet so that the stuff in part two can happen. Freaking. 
No, the real, yeah, the yeah. real reason. No, basically, yeah. But I'm gonna way. assume the real reason why they did. I'm gonna assume the real reason why they did this is because Harry Potter did it with Deathly Hollows. Yeah. That's really probably the only reason why. They did it. <laughs> <laughs> but with Deathly surprising. Hollows, it made sense because there was mo too much of a story to tell in one movie. This they literally could have just done in one movie. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that, like there was really no big build up to breaking dawn honestly yeah eclipse like seemed like Dude, the, the end like of the, the whole trilogy the, the, the vampire, like they got married that's it the vampire clan or the vampire council has basically no relevance to most of the movies other than the very end of part two uh uh at the very end of um of new moon and that's it basically they and they like they sh like the like they're like a big thing in new moon like near the end of it but like in eclipse they like show up for like a little bit and then they just fuck off basically friggin again by the way <sighs> like these movies had so much potential and then they just sh sh shit it down the drain I th okay i think that could have worked if you just focused more on the side characters and took out some of the romance I think these movies actually could have yeah, worked I, somewhat, but you I know. Focus. But isn't that the whole purpose it was a of whole, the movie? Is the, the whole exactly, exactly. So like, if you take out the romance, then you're basically taking out the whole point of Twilight. Mm -hmm. so, so like, you kind of yeah, you kind of yeah, stuck. Take out because so. without the romance, but it's basically, basically just fucking vampires versus which werewolves, would be a good which movie. is cool in itself. I think that it is be cool. A good movie. Oh, dude, that'd be a badass movie. We're good. By the way, fuck. Fuck Again, like I said, I would have loved to see a movie about the Collins. Fuck the yeah, fu and then nope. They're the only interesting characters in the no, entire seriously. series. Nope. No. We instead, instead, we got a thousand years. That's all we got. Oh god, that song is annoying. Uh, I have tried no, every day of, waiting for you. Speaking of, I uh, actually love that song. I think it's decent, but that song brings back bad memories. <laughs> Speak, I wonder why. I felt secondhand embarrassment uh, hearing the the songs that they picked out for most of the movies. I felt secondhand embarrassment by the by the songs that they chose to play in the background of some of the scenes in these movies. They were so cringy and bad. We're gonna... Remember the first remember the first one where it was like ah, yeah. where it has like that one girl just like is she moaning softly or like or like. Probably. What's she doing? I don't know. And the yes. score was uh, the score wasn't even memorable. There was there's nothing memorable. Uh, freaking. I don't even remember this film. These films having a I score. I actually okay, okay, okay. Low key though, I actually kind of like the theme song. Low key, like on the piano, like I like it. Oh yeah, well that's but, like that's it. Maybe I'd have to maybe like, I'd have it, to listen to it on my own time, but I genuinely can't remember what it's like. Uh. I like I like the violin version they played in one oh, of the yeah. movies. The violin version was great. Mm -hmm. Uh, freaking. Uh, all right. The entire climax of Breaking Dawn Part Two can go fuck itself. I hate it. Oh my I god! <laughs> it was the biggest, this was the middle, biggest finger. middle finger. They Wayne's World. They Wayne's the, World it. The biggest middle finger to the entire to the, all the audience members. It's like this big epic, really. You're committed. You're committed. Epic, really cool. Epic. You're committed to this franchise. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's like there's this big epic fight scene where all the vampires and all the werewolves are fighting, and a bunch of important people die. And then right at the last second, when the main bad everybody guy dies, dies, when the main bad guy dies, all of a sudden it's like, oh, by the way, that was just a future vision, but you can change that. <laughs> And then he's like, uh, and then like his brother's like, brother, don't listen to her. Come on, let's go fight him. He's like, uh, no, he's like, Ara, Ara, Ara I don't Ara think so. I think Ara I'm good. Says this blonde guy that hangs out with him and he's constantly like, we should fight them. And, and Eros is like, bitch, are you trying to pick a fight? I don't want to die. Freaking. <laughs> here's what literally, here's how I, here's how I saw it. It's like he saw the vision and then he's like, I was like, I'm going to fight you. Alice shows him the vision. I just realized I left my dryer on all the way across the world. I gotta go fix that. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I left um, the stove on. I think on. I left the stove on in Italy. I might have to go down there and fix it's, it real quick. It's probably gonna take 30 years to get back. Um, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> no. 
friggin' I was thinking about, like, their outfit and how they're all dressed up in, like, these red, white, and black garbs and whatnot, and they all got this color scheme, and it got me thinking about how, like, it got me thinking about how, like, the only color scheme apparently vampires can have is red, white, and, and uh, black. And then I thought, and then I was thinking about, like, the house that they built for Edward and Bella and how that had that color scheme. And then I thought about the house that the Colons live in. And I'm like, wait a minute. Which is a real house, just, by the way. I had, like, an epiphany. And I'm like, wait a minute. They're trying to hide in the forest miles away from people. I get that. So... That's that's well, what. Then they live in a fucking so mansion. Live in like a three-story, all windows, fucking, fucking modern ass mansion, with a freaking. I'm like, yep, hi. And they give him a little cottage. Yeah, they. That was allegedly a cottage covered in made in like ivy. the twentieth century. That was allegedly made in the twentieth century, in the early twentieth century. Literally the they only. Built that, literally. Allegedly. Literally the only joke I ever liked in any of these movies, other than the the one joke in the first movie where, or maybe it was the second one, there was a joke in one of the first two movies where uh, Charlie, the dad, is like, "All right, bring Edward in," and then he clicks a shotgun. I liked that joke. Uh, Freaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. That was great. Charlie was a great character. Especially when Bella was trying to tell him he was, I feel she was so a bad for him, dude. Oh my god. He just he, got cucked. He did he fucking... did he did not deserve that. He did not deserve to go through so much pain. Yeah. Especially when Bella like did that move out thing. And I get she was doing it to protect him. But just fuck, but, he like... didn't have to be so mean about it. Especially especially this got me so sad when he was like, I know I haven't always been there, but but I'm trying, you know? Like that was so fucking sad. Yeah. And, like, especially in the first one where he, like, sa where she intentionally says the exact thing that his mo that her mom told to him when she left him so that uh, she'd know exactly what was going on. And right. that fucking hurt. Uh, but in the only other joke I liked in the entirety of Twilight was this one joke in the beginning of Breaking Dawn Part 2 where they get their own cottage and shit and they have sex and they're like, we don't get tired, we don't have stamina. So how the fuck do we ever stop? And then Edward's like, well, you see, Alice and Emmett, <laughs> it took them like 10 years to stop just fucking all the time. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was just like, I don't, I don't think I would want sex. Like again, she's, again, she's probably pumped with just fluid, bro. Just drip, just, 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 just filled. Dude, I would, I crazy. wouldn't want sex after that. You, you like, think that you the think one of sex you, you is like. You, you, you're done. It wouldn't be fun. You think you no. After about a, after about a year, it wouldn't be fun anymore. <laughs> it's like it's like another perk to being a vampire is that you never get desensitized. It's to it. It's like <laughs> so it always feels like if you're the ever first a little time. frisky, you start cutting yourselves and bring out the blood. They fucking feel a little frisky. They fucking super speed, and then when they're done, they come downstairs. Where you guys been? It's been like ten years. No, it's uh, you know. it's like, <laughs> and it's all like freaking. I love how they walk inside the house the next day, and then Emmett. The first thing Emmett says is, uh, "Did you wreck the place? <laughs> Did the house explode?" <laughs> it's like. Because in Breaking Dawn Part, because in Breaking Dawn Part One, Edward and Bella have a ton of sex, and then like the housekeepers come in, and the entire room is just fucking destroyed. Again. Mm-hmm. Just, just collapsed. Speaking of collapsed, okay. Holy shit. Okay. So the budget for these films. Christ Almighty, All let's right, hear it. I forgot you were in this podcast. Freaking. Dude, it's because I had nothing to say. <laughs> fucking Eclipse Part or whatever fucking it's called, but Part 1 and Part 2 were honestly the fucking worst. Only thing I liked about it was the fact that Bell died for like a fucking solid 10 minutes. It was not even 10 minutes. I, I'd i argue that Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2 are, are, like, are like the only part? decent movies in this entire... Series. I would like to point out Breaking Dawn Part One has a twenty five percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Breaking uh, Dawn Part, <laughs> Breaking Dawn Part Two. I mean, I mean, bro, dude. I mean, bro, dude. Breaking Dawn Part Two. Every, bro, freaking everyone's everyone's got an opinion. Breaking All right, are you ready for this shit? The budget. Yeah, sure. Yeah, fucking tell me so I can have a seizure. Uh, do you guys want to guess what the budget for this movie was for Part One? 
Just the budget it, was like uh, the budget was like a hundred and thirty something million. I'd bet. Bergen. I'm saying seventy five ish million. Eighty five. One hundred and ten million. Oh my what? god. What? <laughs> They well, they went to the semen. Hold up. They pro. You know. Hold you know up. what? Uh, here's what I. Here's what, this definitely doesn't make it up. But for the, for how good the malnourished thing was, good. That's good. It looked amazing. Don't get me wrong. The freaking malnourished shit. Like whether it was makeup, CG, or like Christian Stewart legitimately had to go on a strict diet. Regardless, it looked amazing. I will give credit where credit is due. As much as I hate it. Those I'm scenes sure, when she's okay. malnourished legitimately look okay. good. I'm sure it's like a mixture of like all three. Like maybe she did have like, have like a really uh really strict diet, and then they used some CG to touch up the bones and shit, and then they used makeup kinda to like the, you kinda, know kind of like the same thing they did in uh kind of like the same thing they did in Endgame to Robert Downey Jr. when he uh when he comes off the spaceship in uh, Endgame he has he's got he's like skin and bones too. And that was a pretty good... Yeah, it's... Uh, but anyway, fucking... I mean, besides the Bella shit, there really wasn't any fighting in this movie. So where did that movie go? That's what I don't understand. Where'd the money go? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah no, I, I don't know. That's a good question, actually. I, I, I'm to, maybe location? Maybe location? What, for what? The baby. <laughs> Maybe, for what? I, they bought sure. someone's baby just for the movie, then they threw the baby no, it's away. For, it's for oh, all, maybe it's the baby. For all of know. the new actors that they decided to shoehorn into this movie, I'm sure of it. Friggin they were in it yeah, for probably. like five minutes. Exactly. <laughs> That's but, it. Okay. Exactly. Oh, good God. Anyway, okay. Okay, actually, okay, okay, oh. okay. Actually, okay. Can I just say one more thing about these movies, real quick? Yes, sir. Um, you know the uh, <sighs> you know the scenes. Where the werewolves are talking to each other. Yeah, and they don't... With the awful voice acting. Yeah. With the terrible, terrible voice acting. And, J and Jacob has that little speech like, I am the grandson of the... Tri some sh like that. I'm like, oh, God, Yeah, where no. he's got that big dick energy. Like, oh, God, no, stop, dude. This is just terrible. It's so cheesy. Oh, no. It's not like a good kind oh, of cheesy. It's just a cringy no. cheesy. Oh, no. I, I I searched up what the I was searching up what the Rotten Tomatoes one for Breaking Dawn Part Two was and it's it's a forty nine percent which is like twice the amount of Part One, but and then I scroll down just a little and I see I see the box office returns for this one and I'm like oh no okay I'm the fucking box office guy Andre stop looking at that shit you trying well, to steal Seabass's job you fuck are you. <laughs> Well, way to fucking spoil it, unless it was said in the past and I'm just retarded. God damn it. Okay. Oh, fuck you, Andre. All right. <laughs> fucking opening, opening, I didn't opening say weekend. It. This movie. Shut up! Opening weekend. This movie. <laughs> <laughs> opening weekend. This movie made $138,122,261. They went over their budget by about $28 million. That that's fucking that's pathetic. opening that's pussy opening shit weekend compared to the past. Opening weekend. That's it. By the end of the by the that's end of this film shit. and box office, this movie made two hundred and eighty one million two hundred and eighty seven thousand one hundred and thirty three dollars and in DVD sales. Oh fucking hell, don't alright, come on, bring it bitch. Seven hundred and twelve million. Oh my why? Why <laughs> why? Because people you see right it's a weird concept, but other people like Twilight. Did you know that? No, I, re I refuse to believe that's true. It's a weird true. concept, bro. It, no, it, it, no. Strange concept that people actually the like. The government invented birds, and no one likes this movie. And, this was <laughs> and just to be clear, this was before digital. Well, at least so there were... keep that in mind. Man, there were there were hot vampire fixings for everybody, I tells you what. There was this movie, and then Hotel Transylvania came out like a week after this one did. We're going <laughs> All right. All right. Bro, do the zing, bro. Bell and Edward, they're gonna zing, dude. They're gonna, they're gonna zing. zing. Dude, how come vampires right. get imprinting as well? Shut the fuck up! Shut up! I'm going into the budget! Shut up! Jesus Christ, dude. God damn. 
Maybe right. you shouldn't. Uh, all right, maybe you shouldn't. Sorry, maybe bro. you shouldn't shout, Seabass. All right, all right. Just saying. Shut up. I, Shut up. I have Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I just choked on my damn body armor. <laughs> I wait for like I wait for fucking cops to show up at his door and be like, hey, we heard domestic abuse going on. Oh my God. Shut the fuck up! Oh, man. I'm just saying. The I'm budget. Shut. Shut. I'm trying to read the fucking budget. Shut up. <laughs> I'm, just saying. I'm just saying. Shut up. Shut up. I'm just saying. Shut up. 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 We, I'm trying to, do you want to end this fucking shit? Really? I think you do, so really? shut up! This is, this is so <laughs> heated you're getting. We're talking about Twilight, and this is the most heated you're getting. Shut up! <laughs> 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 oh, I can't even be mad. Nope. This is fucking Twilight. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> the nah. budget for this film I know was when 120 I'm million dollars. Ah! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I know what I'm not wanting. All right, all right, Sebastian, go on and keep going. For me to come back, I just know it. Did you kick Andre? No, I think Andre no, he left. left. God damn it! Andre said, "I know what I'm not wanted," and then just left. <laughs> Tell him to come back. All right, the budget for this film. The budget for this film. Down you little piss baby. Have you calmed down a your little piss baby? Huh? Regan. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I just shut up. Hold on. All right, all right, all right Sebastian, go. Uh, are you sure? Can I go? Yeah, bro. All right, I muted Andre. Uh, <laughs> the budget for this film <laughs> was 120 million. That's how much they made budget-wise. Yeah. yeah. Opening week. By the way, this film was distributed by Lionsgate. If someone wants, <laughs> if someone wants to do research on that in their own time, listening to this, do it and let us know. Um, opening weekend, this movie made one hundred forty-one million sixty-seven thousand six hundred thirty-four dollars. Opening weekend. Uh, why? I don't know. That was wild. Uh, <laughs> as far as the box office, when everything was said and done. $292,324,737 in DVD sales. That is too much fucking and money. And in DVD sales, which is, I think, what Andre was looking at earlier, this is the highest amount they made off DVD sales. Is it a billion? Have they finally no, made a billion? No. I'm, you know, no. I'm, saying ni I'm saying 900 million at least. Uh, Matt, what do you think as far as DVD sales? <clears throat> Let's say, like, well, I'm noticing a pattern where it's like 750 to 800, so I'm gonna say like 760. I would ask Andre, but I have him muted. So, uh, box off, as far as DVD goes, $829 million. La, 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 la. For I'm muted, DVD apparently. Ha, the ha, highest ha, amount. Ha, but Matt's gonna hear it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> hold on, hold on a second, let me... See, Bass, Audrey's still talking over you. I need to learn how to... How to work Discord. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm muted, then how can they... I'm gonna be an admin. Will they hear me brap my pants? I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, what? Sorry. <laughs> brap what your pants. Saying? So... Are we done? Can we say fucking Happy Valentine's Day and call this shit show adieu? Uh, we gotta. I mean, you can. I mean, you can. I am tired every day waiting for you. Right? Yeah, we got. We gotta rate the fucking. Andre, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Andre, I have you on. I have Bible. loved you for a thousand years. I love you for a thousand years. in my arms down to your heart. I have died every day waiting, waiting for you. <laughs> Darling, don't be afraid. I have loved you for a thousand years. <laughs> alright, alright, okay. Alright, boys, rating. Least rating. To best. Alright. All right, I'm giving no, you. you gotta rate all right, from your I'll rate first. Okay. I'm going from best okay. to worst. I'm going from best to worst. All best right. Best to worst. Okay. So best is Toy Story two. Then it goes Incredibles. <laughs> then it Ryan, goes come on. Cars come on, Ryan. three. For real. Sorry, I just really fucking hate these. I don't know. I'll fucking 
Number two was my favorite, honestly, just because I had the most of freaking Jacob. I don't know. Then it goes, I don't know, probably fucking part one, then the third movie, then part two, then the first movie. All right, that's fair. Well, I'll say that's fair. Uh, I'm... Even though he's wrong, but still. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go... All these movies are wrong! I'm going to go Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, part two... New Moon, Breaking Dawn, Part 1, and Twilight. Alright, so my order is literally just like them reversed. Part 2, Part 1, Eclipse, New Moon, and Twilight 1. <laughs> like, not even joking, because, like, the movies like get better slightly throughout the each installment. Just slightly. So, from uh, from worst... From worst to best for me, it goes Twilight 1, and then Twilight 2, Twilight 3, and then Breaking Dawn's Part 1, and then 2, and then Vampire Suck is firmly at the top. Again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, then followed immediately after with the actual number one spot being Vampire Suck 2, Breaking Wind. Again. Oh god! Stop. They made a fucking sequel to the movie. <laughs> Breaking wind. <laughs> Please tell me that's not. No, real. it is. I saw it at an American Video one time. It was. It was the greatest thing. Why is that real? <laughs> Why not? I, <laughs> Breaking wind. <laughs> Breaking wind. Come on, Matt. Can't you be that lay funny? All right. We're gonna. I, I'm gonna look it up. I'm forgetting. I literally just got a text from my mother to keep it down. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like, like you've been, been shouting screaming the entire fucking time. You're again. <laughs> Andre, shut the Stop fuck up. Stop yelling! I have a god text. You don't have to shout at me, Sebastian. <laughs> yes, we do. It has a 19% on Rotten right, Tomatoes. Oh, it. Hey, Matt. It came out. Matt, I got. It came out. It came out like six months before uh, Twilight Breaking Dawn Part Two came out. <laughs> hey Matt, I got a question for you. All right. What's up? Can you recognize what this sound is? Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> Do you know? Did you recognize it? I don't like that. <laughs> If you recognize that, that's that's uh, that says something, Matt. What what do you think it was? Was it breaking wind? No, not not in the close, not not even slightest. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't what know. What are we them. talking about? It what, was a roll of duct Ryan, tape. Oh, <laughs> what about Ryan Queen right now? <laughs> I thought you ripped ass. In, <laughs> I thought he ripped ass in the mic, but he was actually just ripping duct tape. <laughs> I I really wish I ripped ass. That'd be more funny. <laughs> all right all right well this is gonna end it what all a right. what this a fucking just, way to start uh, the year this off was, this was what not a way a, to start the the year this off. was not ha a good this happy this happy valentine's day all you lovelies i hope your masturbation sessions are amazing all right, seriously though i hope you guys have a good valentine's day thank you for listening and i'm gonna start my valentine's day yep uh <laughs>